Hi friends and welcome. All this past week I've been looking forward to creating this video because I so love sharing with you really great makeup products that can do double duty to save us time and protect our skin. And many of us who are over 50 certainly know firsthand how important it is to protect our skin. Does anyone else remember using baby oil as tanning lotion or using UV reflectors to direct more sun toward our body when we were sunbathing? I shudder to think what we didn't know back then and what we did to get a tan. Thank goodness things have changed. These products that I'll be using in today's video not only provide excellent sun protection, but also function as makeup. And some of these products can also do double duty to save us time and money, as you'll see during the makeup application. Before we jump into this topic, I want to extend a warm welcome to those of you who are new to this channel, and let me also extend a warm welcome and thanks to those of you who are returning. And if you're new or returning, if you enjoy what you see today, I hope you'll subscribe before you leave if you haven't already done so. And if you know anyone else who might find this video helpful, please also feel free to share it. Now let's dive into our topic today. I have to confess that up until a couple of months ago, I was totally unaware that many of the products that I'll be using today even existed, even though I used and loved Color Science's Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy, which acts as an under-eye color corrector, hydrator, and UV protector, I was unaware of their other sunscreen products that function as makeup. So when I happened to go on their website and see the other sun protection products they offered that worked as makeup, I was really excited to try some of them. Although most of the products that I'll be using today are from Color Science, I just want to let you know that Color Science is not sponsoring this video. I already own some of these products that I'll be sharing with you today, but they very generously sent me five additional products to show you. And and what I'm really excited about is that they also offered a 15% off discount code, which you can use at checkout if you're interested in purchasing any product whatsoever on their website. The code is Elise15. You'll find links to all of these products as well as the code in the description box below. The 15% off code is valid until July 31st, 2021, and it's a one-time use code. So a huge thanks to Color Science for not only gifting me with some of the products so I can share them with you, but more importantly, for offering you an opportunity to use a discount code. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and applied eye primer, and except for eyeliner, lip liner, and foundation, all the other products that I'll be using today have great sunscreen protection and work as makeup. I'm going to start by applying a face product, which can be used alone or worn under makeup. I'll be applying foundation over it. It's Color Science's Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in Glow, which has a mineral sunscreen SPF of 50. I'm using the Glow formula, but it also comes in a classic version without Glow and a version that has a bronze tint. This is what that product looks like. It's necessary to shake the product well before applying, and a nickel size amount for the face is usually recommended. If you're also using it on your neck and decollete, an additional amount of product will be needed. And it's also suggested that it should be applied 15 minutes before exposure to the sun. I love the fact that this product does not feel the least bit greasy and applies so easily and effortlessly. It also provides some hydration, which I really need. It has antioxidants as well, and it protects against UVA, UVB, blue light, and infrared radiation. I'm shaking it really well. Then I put a nickel size amount on the back of my wrist, although it's sort of spread out a little bit. <laughs> and I'm just going to dot it everywhere and put it first in the areas where I need coverage the most. Whoops. And I'm so excited. I got my hair cut for the first time in 14 months. That was so wonderful to feel that hair coming off. I don't know if any of you have had that same experience, but I have a hunch a few of you have. And I'm just going to blend it in with the foundation brush. Get it evenly all over my face. As you can see, there is quite a glow appearing. And if you want less glow, you can certainly use less of it or just use it in strategic areas of your face, or you can do as I'm going to do, just apply a little bit of foundation over it. 
Or you can also, if you're using a liquid foundation, just mix a little bit in with your liquid foundation. I'm going to apply a cream foundation over it, so that's why I'm applying this first. Next, I'm going to be applying my Merit Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick in the color Dune. That is so hard to say. I like to dot it on and then use a brush and then go over it with a damp sponge. For those of you who aren't familiar with this product, it's a relatively new clean beauty foundation. And I'm just going to dot some on. It's a combination foundation and concealer. And it just feels really lightweight on the skin, which is one of the things I love about it. Okay, then I'm taking my brush, going over it. And as you can see, this starts to take away some of the shine. Now I like having some glow to my complexion, but if you have oilier skin and just don't prefer so much glow, you can certainly just apply the glow product strategically, or you can get just the classic version, which doesn't have a glow. Next, I'm gonna apply the Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy. I love the little applicator. It has this nice, cool metal top to it. And I'm squeezing out just a little bit, and then I'm just gonna dot it under my eyes. This depuffsy eye area, it also hydrates, and it's a color corrector, so it helps cover up those dark circles. I'm just gonna dot a little bit on where I especially need it. And then I'm gonna just blend it in with my fingers, pat it in. And as I mentioned, if you use a liquid foundation, you can certainly mix the Color Science product with your liquid foundation if you'd find this a little bit quicker and easier. Next, I'm gonna add some color with Color Science's Sun Forgettable Total Protection Color Balm with SPF 50. This product comes in a lovely blush color, which is one I particularly like. It's a nude color with pink undertones. Also a bronze color, which is a shimmery golden color, and a berry color, which is a deep raspberry. Let me show you what these products look like and then I'll swatch them for you. And here you can see the colors. The pink at the top is the blush color. Underneath it is the bronze glow, and then at the bottom is the berry color, which I'll be using later on my lips. I'm going to go ahead and use the blush color as my face blush, the bronze as my bronzer, and I'll use the berry color later, as I mentioned, on my lips, along with the Color Science lip gloss that has a 35 SPF. Since I have a cool undertone to my skin, the color called blush works really well on my cheeks. If you have a warm undertone, you could just mix a bit of the blush color with the bronzer for a lovely soft bronzy pink blush. And if you have a neutral undertone, you could experiment and see if you prefer to use just the blush color as your blush or if you prefer to combine the blush color with the bronze color. I find it easiest to apply the color balm to the back of my wrist and then pick it up with a brush. This particular method ensures a lighter look rather than applying the product directly from the applicator. But you can certainly use your fingers to apply it, or you can certainly apply it directly from the applicator and then blend it out. If it's applied directly from the applicator, I always recommend applying just a small amount at first and then gradually building it up. As we all know, it's a lot easier to add a little more product later rather than to try to tone it down. I'm sure we've all learned that lesson the hard way over the years. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. stipple brush and pick the blush up with this brush and then apply it. Just gonna apply it about the middle of my cheekbone area. As you can see, it's just a nice, soft, natural flush, which I really like. Then I like to take my sponge and just go around the edges, just to make sure there are no harsh edges. And also, especially as we get into the hotter weather, I just love the feel of the sponge on my face also. Next, I'm gonna put some of the bronze colored color balm on the back of my wrist, pick it up with a brush, and then use it as contour under my cheekbones for a very slight contour and along my forehead and also along my jawline. Be aware that this product does provide some additional glow. I'm just applying it here under my cheekbones. As you can see, it's just a very light color. I'm gonna apply some here under this cheekbone, under the jawline, and then just along the top of my forehead as well. Just a very small amount. Then once again, I'm taking my sponge and just going along the edges. And it is hot in this room today, <laughs> so I'm picking up this sponge whenever I can. Of course, you could also mix the glow product with a bit of the bronze to get an all-over bronze glow. It's really fun to apply these products separately or mix them together to see what look you really love best. 
Next up are eyes. I love using the Color Balm Bronze Color in the crease area of my eyes and slightly above the crease since I do have hooded eyes. You can certainly use your finger to apply it, but once again, I'm going to put some on the back of my wrist and then apply it with a brush. And I'm going to use a brush because I really want to be a little bit more precise with my application. So I'm applying it here in the crease area, right in the crease, and then slightly above it. And I'm going to apply a little bit more toward the outer edge of my eyes just to lift my eye area and on the outer area of my lid. Then I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just going over the outer edges, although I hardly even need to do this because there really is just a very soft look to this. Let's blend up my lids a little bit as well. Just make sure I get these equal. Put a little bit more over here. I also have a vein that seems to pop out <laughs> and show on this eye a little bit more. Sometimes I like to put just a tiny bit of the Color Balm in blush on my eyelids, but today I'm just going to stick with the eye primer on my lids since it does brighten the eye area a bit. I've gone ahead and applied my Tarte Quick Stick Eyeliner as well as my Tarte Mascara. Now we're ready for the final step, which is our lips. First, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Age Perfect Lip Liner in Splendid Plum on my lips, and then I'll apply the Color Science Color Balm in Berry on my lips using a very small brush. And since I definitely want to apply some lip gloss, I'm going to use one of these three lip shine glosses that each have an SPF of 35 over the color balm on my lips. Here are the three lip shine colors I'm choosing from in the Color Science line. I have rose at the top, pink underneath it, and then a color called Siren, which I don't see on the Color Science website, so I have hunched this one's been discontinued. I'm going to go ahead and use the pink. And of course, I can't help mixing it with a little bit of the siren as well. The Lip Shine glosses come in several other colors. In addition to the rose and the pink that I showed you, it also comes in champagne, coral, and clear. The last product I'm going to use is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Brush on Shield Powder, which has an SPF of 50. It comes in four shades, fair, medium, tan, and deep, and I'm going to go ahead and use the fair. Now this is an all mineral powder SPF 50 sunscreen, which can be worn alone or you can use it over makeup. What's especially nice is that it comes in a handy compact applicator with a brush, so it can easily fit inside a purse. Before applying, all you do is tap the applicator three times with the powder end at the top and then apply with the brush. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my T-zone area. And by the way, this product also comes in a sheer matte untinted version that has an SPF of 30. This is what the product looks like. So I'm going to tap it three times. And when you take off the cap, you see the brush, you just push this down and you have the perfect amount on the brush for application. The idea is to do this for about 15 seconds, and you just want to use a very light touch. You don't want to press too hard with this brush. So that's giving me some additional protection, and I can keep this in my purse and I can reapply it throughout the day. Today I use seven of the Color Science products, the ones that are the most important for me for sun protection. However, I should also let you know that although Color Science specializes in mineral sunscreen products, they do have many other types of products on their website, including primers, redness correctors, foundations, and a neck and face cream, just to name a few. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. And in the comments section below, I thought it would be fun to share one thing that we're especially looking forward to doing this summer. My husband and I are going to have a chance to spend some time with our oldest daughter and her family, which we're certainly excited about. And I'm also looking forward to spending time with one of my very best friends in another state. Whoops, I 
I guess that's actually two things. Well, feel free to share one or two things that you're excited about doing in the comments section. And I also want to mention something I don't think I've ever mentioned in any of my other YouTube videos. And that is, I do have a weekly email newsletter. And in that newsletter, I include sort of a favorite recommended product of the week, usually a beauty or makeup product, and also some other fun recommendations, other types of things for the house or books or movies or TV shows. And I also include a mention of something that's probably pretty nostalgic for many of those who are over 50. So if you're interested in the newsletter, all you need to do is email me at boomerandbeyondbeauty at gmail.com and I'll be happy to add you to the mailing list. Until we see each other again, I hope you stay happy and healthy and have a really fabulous rest of your day. Take care.